Okay, this is what the Sark 100 shows prior to the coil installation. This is probably not going to be truly representative of the SWR. I'm not sure how accurate this is on 40 meters. It's pretty accurate on 20. I haven't used, I haven't yet tried it, but I'm going to try to measure the reactants. That's about what it was showing on the meter, actually. So this is actually fairly reasonably accurate, I believe. I mean, on the SWR meter, when actually connected to the radio and transmitting. I think if I hit mode, okay, that should be, okay, inductance, 0.5 microhenries. Not bad, actually. All right, I'm going to go ahead and add the inductor to try to cancel out this capacitance. I believe is what I'm going to try to do anyway. I'll be back. Okay, there's my first attempt. Um, I haven't measured at all. I just did about seven turns, which is what people tend to say is required. I'm, I'll try to clean up the coils um, to make it look more aesthetically pleasing if this works out, which I, I'm, not, I'm not confident on at all. But there it is. It doesn't look too bad. I have no idea. We'll see what happens when I look at the meter. And there we are. Not an improvement. 210 is still the lowest SWR. Interesting. Um, if this SARC 100 is to be believed, so zero induction. And zero capacitance. So apparently it's resonant, but with an input impedance of 151 ohms. That's not what I sh would expect would happen here. Okay, I've wound 15 turns, and this is what it's showing on this meter that I'm not super uh, confident in its accuracy. This should be resonant here. I'm going to go ahead and plug it into the uh, actual Radio Shack SWR meter and actually transmit with my radio at low power and see, see what I'm looking at. That's what I'm getting. That's 17 to 10. at uh, nearly max power. I guess I can go ahead and bring it up. Actually, that's not necessary. So, wow. Well, interesting. Well, I've ran out of light, guys, but there's the finished product. It's all tightened down. Um, be careful tightening these pipe clamps too much. They will break. I did break one. However, I repositioned this one higher than the bottom and uh, that seemed to improve my SWR. So there we go. Um, I'm a little wary of this, but it seems pretty uh, pretty solid. This is number eight wire. I uh, don't think it's gonna move or bend out of shape through normal use. So I'm gonna give it a try for a while, see how it goes. Uh, I like the SWR. Looks like this thing is resonant now. So thanks a lot and seven three.